star of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise Stephanie Matto is ready to dive into the dating world on 90 Day. The single life, though there are several individuals in the franchise who could be a good match for her. Stephanie has a big personality and is picky about who she dates, so finding someone could be difficult. After Stephanie's relationship with Erica Owens fizzled on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days, she's ready to find someone new, and that someone could be one of her franchise castmates. On Before the 90 Days, Stephanie traveled to Australia to meet her long-distance girlfriend Erica to see if sparks would fly in person. But Stephanie's Australian vacation went south fast, and it wasn't long before the two women would get into heated arguments. Erica's friendships with her exes made Stephanie jealous, and overall it was clear that there were some major incompatibilities between the two. Ultimately the couple decided to call it quits, and since then Stephanie has been somewhat wary about dating. But now Stephanie is ready to get back out there and she said she will be dating men and women on the single life. Stephanie struggled with revealing the truth about her bisexuality to her mother, but now she seems comfortable being open about her sexuality. On the single life, Stephanie will no doubt be meeting a lot of new people, but she may want to consider other cast members from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Anfisa has never expressed any romantic interest in other women, but if she were open to experimenting, she might get along well with Stephanie. Stephanie would probably be attracted to Anfisa physically and can appreciate a woman who's ambitious and knows how to hustle. Anfisa has a big personality and so does Stephanie, so their personalities might clash, or it could ignite a fiery romance. Anfisa hinted at a new relationship, so she may not be single, but it might be worth it for Stephanie to slide into her DMs. Singen has a contagious positive energy that could match Stephanie's strong personality. The two could have a lot of fun together and it would be an age-appropriate relationship. His laid-back type B outlook would be a good counter to Stephanie's type of tendencies, and as a couple, Singen and Stephanie could balance each other out. Singen has already expressed interest in Natalie Mordetseva, who will also be a part of the Single Life cast, but that doesn't mean he's not open to other connections. Paula and Russ Mayfield are taking a break from their marriage, and though Paula's expressed some conservative views in the past, this could be her chance to experiment and discover new sides to her sexuality. If she were open to a relationship with a woman, Paula and Stephanie have a lot in common, and the two glamorous ladies would likely get along well together. They've both managed to leverage their franchise fame for profit and are very ambitious. There could potentially be a lot of passion and shared interests between these two. Stephanie seems like a girl who needs a partner with an interesting and unique background, which she could find in Ymir. The former Nicaraguan boy band member surely has some stories to tell from his eventful past. Ymir and Chelsea Masick's relationship is over, so he's probably single and looking to date again. Stephanie could find Ymir to be an engaging and interesting person to date, and the two could hit it off. With Stephanie's good looks, financial success, and unique background, the 90 Day Fiancé star probably won't have trouble finding someone new. However, not everyone can relate to her reality TV experiences, which is why dating someone from inside the franchise could be Stephanie's best option.